In this video, we are going to talk about math secret. This is about super hexagon. Do you want to know how to memorize these different trigonometric identities? Well, the secret is not to memorize, but to use a mnemonic device, which we call as the super hexagon. A super hexagon is simply a hexagon that is divided into six triangles. At the middle of the hexagon is the number one, and there is only one formula that you have to remember. That is, the tangent of the angle theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta. We are going to position these three trigonometric identities in the hexagon this way. Put the tangent theta here, next is sine theta, and the third is cosine theta. Then opposite tangent is the cotangent, so we put here cotangent theta. And if we divide this super hexagon into two hemispheres, the right side would contain all the trigonometric functions that start with letter C. So we're going to put here the cosecant and the remaining function secant theta at this remaining slot. We have just constructed our super hexagon. Now let's use the super hexagon to generate trigonometric identities. The first set of functions that we can generate is when we rotate class clockwise in this hexagon. For example, you have here tangent, sine, and cosine. When you rotate clockwise direction, you can form this basic identity, tangent theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta. Now, if we rotate like this, the identity is sine theta equals cosine theta over cotangent theta. And continue rotating. We have cosine theta equals cotangent theta over cosecant theta. Then next, you have cotangent equals cosecant over secant. Next is cosecant equals secant over tangent. And secant equals tangent over sine. So we have just generated six trigonometric identities from this super hexagon without memorizing them at all. Next, if we move counterclockwise direction like this, we still follow the same pattern. Tangent is equal to secant over cosecant. Secant is equal to cosecant over cotangent and follow the same process. So we'll generate another six trigonometric identities by moving this arrow counterclockwise direction. Next, we now have 12 identities. Let's add some more. This time, let's take three consecutive functions in the hexagon and multiply the first and the third. The product would be the function at the middle. So here, tangent theta times cosine theta is equal to sine theta. Next, sine theta times cotangent theta is equal to cosine theta then multiply cosine times cosecant you will get cotangent and continue rotating and getting the product of the first and the third to get the middle trigonometric function so another six trigonometric functions added to our first 12 trigonometric identities we now have 18 generated without even memorizing any one of them except of course creating this super hexagon next Let's look at the reciprocal identities. If you draw a line like this, you can read this as sine theta is equal to 1 over cosecant theta. Next, if we have this line, we have cosine theta equals 1 over secant theta. And we can generate all the other six reciprocal identities using this line arrow. So we now have another six trigonometric identities added to our previous 18 trigonometric identities. Next, let's look at co-function identities. Look at this arrow here. If we construct an arrow that is horizontal, then we have here sine theta is equal to the cosine of the complement of the angle theta, which is 90 minus theta. Also, if we reverse the arrow, we have cosine theta equals the sine of the complement of the first angle. So that is 90 minus theta. The same is true for tangent and cotangent. Tangent theta is equal to cotangent of the complement of theta, which is 90 minus theta. And the same is true when we reverse the arrow. And one more pair of cofunction identities, secant theta is equal to cosecant of 90 minus theta. And cosecant theta is equal to secant of 90 minus theta. So another six identities added to our previous identities. But we are not yet done. Let's take a look at the Pythagorean identities. Let's highlight these three triangles. If we rotate clockwise direction, that is sine to cosine to number one, here is the formula. Sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to one. 
Similarly, if we rotate this arrow clockwise direction, we have 1 plus cotangent squared theta is equal to cosecant squared theta. And one more thing, tangent squared theta plus 1 is equal to secant squared theta. Now, if we reverse this arrow going to counterclockwise direction, this is the identity that we can generate. We start with 1. But this time, subtraction. 1 minus cosine squared theta is equal to sine squared theta. In here, cosecant squared theta minus cotangent squared theta equals 1. And here, secant squared theta minus 1 is equal to tangent squared theta. So, so far, we have generated more than 30 trigonometric identities without memorizing those identities. And the secret is this super hexagon.